Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, good, good evening, depending on your location. This is the 64th episode of Leadership Talk with Adegoke. And I have been on the platform on this session, this powerful session, Abraham Urupe. Urupe is a John Maxwell certified coach, speaker, and trainer, and accountant, uh, a man of so many parts, and is going to be sharing massive knowledge on leadership and business <coughs> coaching. How are you? Sorry. I hope you're well. Yes, I'm yeah. okay. Good. Okay. Can you introduce yourself, please? Okay. Um, Who is first? Thank you. Okay. Um, firstly, thanks for the opportunity to be on your platform. I really appreciate you. Um, you're really, really doing a massive, wonderful job. I really appreciate you for that. So, uh, quickly about me, um, uh, I'm an accountant by profession. And I work with a multinational organization where I do practicing accounting. I'm a fact, John C. Maxwell business coach and a consultant. And it will be a foundation business mentor. I work with MSMEs to make them get clarity, leadership structure, and sustainability in their businesses. And one last thing, I'm a poultry farmer. Thank you. Wow, wow. So tell us, um, how did you get into leadership? Um, I wouldn't say it's, a, it's a, because of my, um, what's it called now? First, it's an instinct. It's something in me. Let's say because I'm choleric in the uh, human temperament, which by my temperament, um, my predominant temperament, I read more of it. I realized, okay, choleric are the one that they really want to be out there, create solution, be the fun burner. So I would say by my temperament, one, leadership is there. But yeah. I become more aware and conscious about my temperament as a human which now leads me to building more about leadership in the sense that I really, as a leader or leader, or I get to know about leadership, about taking responsibility from school days to now, I realize that I'm always, always in the area of what can we do? And the moment you always ask, what can we do? How can we do these things? You don't like, oh, they should do it. He should do it. Okay. I think they should do it. So that is how I just come about leadership. Awesome, awesome. Now, tell us, what is leadership to you? Sorry, think that again. What is leadership? What is leadership? Yes. Yes, what is leadership? Hello, sorry. Uh, okay, um, leadership, leadership in one word. Leadership is about creating solution for others. Wow, wow. So I what know, is I, just, I don't want to go around big grammar. Awesome, awesome. So what is business continuity? Okay, um, business continuity to uh, <coughs> is more of having um, a business resilience uh, platform, something that has to do with sustainability. I'm trying to look for a simple word to use. Okay, let me just say. Is um, in accounting, they were called entity concept. It means that the business is separate from the owners. They all have perpetual concept, meaning a business is assumed or it's assumed that it will perpetually continue over a period of time. So business continuity is about having structures that can make the business be on autopilot in line with the vision and the mission of the organization. Wow, wow, awesome. So tell us, um, from your own experience, I mean, what has been your experience concerning business continuity? I mean, what's been your, uh, uh, what can you use business continuity for, experiential? I think, sorry, take that again. From experience, what can you tell us about business continuity? What do you know about business continuity? Apart, apart from <clears throat> the definition, experientially. Okay. Uh Okay, um, personally, I was an individual. I have my own kind. I have my own business. So, I would say from my own point of view, and what I'm doing is that business continuity is about having structures on ground that are in line with your vision and your mission. 
that is a with or without you, the founder, it will be on autopilot. Now there's some businesses like once the owner has headache, everybody has headache in the business. Once the owner is having on his stomach, in the business having on his stomach. So that's why I see <laughs> most business, <clears throat> that is most business start up on it. So we are going about your ability for you to detach yourself as the owner from the business and let the system run the business why the human support the system wow wow awesome if you just join us i've been uh we're look, looking at leadership and busy and uh, i would meet abraham Orupe. he's based in abuja and he's a john maxwell certified coach speaker and trainer now could you tell us uh, what's the consequence of a leader not having a business continuity plan in place it's disastrous <laughs> there is no uh, sorry about that if you don't as a leader yeah. or in, in, in a business have continuity plan in business <clears throat> it's always disastrous why is it so is that <clears throat> there are many businesses that the founder have visions have drive on what they truly wanted to achieve but because they could not uh, make it in the blueprint for others to understand what they are trying to do. You see that when um, maybe on timing death comes in, you realize that everything goes into the grave. Look at Apple. Look at what Steve Jobs did with Apple. He's gone, but Apple never folded up. So, they are, so being continuity in business is simply your ability to transfer what you think or what you, your vision to others to run with your little supervision. So that is it. So the consequence of not having that in place is the business will just move in circle. They were called progressive growth. And that's what that's what we call circle growth in business. Progressive growth is when you're growing progressively in line with your target. Why a circle growth is when you're just running moving around without allowing other people okay. to come in. So most people in most especially in Africa, let me use Nigeria market, people have circle growth in business. They retain, they retain, they re, uh, just the same set of customers that are coming, the same things every year, year in, year out. It's a circle growth. But we are not in of expansion, thinking of, oh, oh, can I leave my business? So the best asset test for business continuity, wherever you're watching us for right now, is I ask you, can you leave your business for six months? If you can answer that, then I believe we are good to go. So that is just what, it, back to it, if you cannot um, leave your business for six months, wherever you are watching us from, joining us right now, then you now realize that part of the consequences is there already. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so what are the three things is that a, bit, a leader can do to ensure that the business continues? Three things. The first one is to have a clear definition of purpose. I'm writing it here, clear definition of purpose. You need to be crystal clear of what you want to achieve. Break them into milestones. Because the number one, if you, if you let's say, okay, let's say you are driving from uh, Lagos to Abuja around 1 a.m. in the morning. What keeps you on track is not the headlamp. Is the imagery, is the picture you have in, in mind, you are going somewhere. It's what keeps you okay. on that road. Yeah. Not the two headlamp driving around the dark. So you must have a clear definition of purpose of what and where do you intend to be. Then okay. the second you need to get it right is your people strategy. No matter how yeah. good you are, your people are the one that foil your vision or your mission in your company hmm. and that's why you as the business owner should not make people feel as if they are means to an end hmm. before you start doing your own stuff how should buy you work somewhere they make you feel like you are a means to an end you are not part of the system you are not inclusive so back to me one way you can handle that is ensure you give your your staff like we are together, we own this thing together. And that brings about transparency because if you are not clear where you are going to as the owner of the business or as a leader, people will not follow you. And clarity mm. brings confidence. 
confidence bring consistency and consistency bring results if you are not clear okay you will not be clear if you are not clear you're not getting confident if you're not if you're having confidence you won't be consistent and when you're not consistent okay. you don't want to follow a man that is not consistent no no that's why you see it's easy to use eloquence to attract people around you but to retain them is consistency oh. So to retain those people is consistency. That is the uh, main thing there. So that's for that. The last thing we're looking at will now be, we've talked about clarity, we've talked about the decision of purpose, and we've talked about um, people's strategy. The last one we're looking at also will now be, um, before you diversify, you need to solidify. Before you diversify, you need to solidify most people have not solidified and that and they're always diversifying so people because um two three people knows them they just think it's the right time to diversify and when you diversify your niche you start rubbing so those three things are very key clarity your people's strategy fair diversify you need to solidify and i'm not talking about money but people people, people always believe money 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 no money is not when it comes to business at some level you get to money does not count again it's value creation that matters but yeah but i understand msmes is small business owners that always after capital but at some level you grow to you're like in career as a level you grow to in your career salary is no longer in motivation the allowances the head the health care packages the pension is now why you are looking for a new job no longer how much will they pay you i know you can relate maybe when you finish invest some years ago all your mind was getting a job or just i need a salary job but as you graduate from that you know that fulfillment comes in so back to it that's why i'll just wrap it up with those three things wow wow this is massive massive thank you so much abraham for you're welcome um, speaking to leadership and business continuity uh we're looking at how a leader that the business continues even after long is gone so to build a legacy so uh, this is leadership <coughs> talk about okay 40 64th edition 64th edition and it's mm -hmm. such an honor mm -hmm. to be sharing the platform with my friend and my brother and uh we're adding value to our listeners all over the world for you if you're watching the replay or listening to the replay uh make sure it's um leadership talk with Adigo, okay we've had so many sessions on leadership and emotional intelligence leadership and selling leadership and innovation leadership and entrepreneurship and so we're looking at leadership and business continuity okay so um <clears throat> now questions for you i want you to look into the camera and say something to a leader right now uh that is struggling with you know putting in a, a business continuity strategy just say one thing to that leader Okay, thank you. Now, one thing I'll look into the camera and say is that it should be more of the people than you. Wow. Wow. Like, Will it you explain more that? Of the people than you. Okay. <clears throat> what I mean is this. Um, I'm all suited up. This is a container. These are all container. Is the content in you that will retain people. So as a leader, it should be more of you can have eloquence can bring people around you but there's a saying i say nobody cares to know how much you know until they know you truly know how much you care yeah yeah so who your customers they don't care to know this, this is bottle water they don't care to know what this water will do until you <laughs> prove to them that oh do you really so it's more of the people than you in the process of you taking care of them you as a leader your growth is inevitable. It will just naturally just flow. So it's not about you collecting. I understand as a leader, you don't have to take your time to read, strategize, prepare the slide, invest the capital. I know you need a reward, but please it should be more of the people than you. Wow, wow, wow. Massive, massive. So um, now, if our listeners want to reach out to you, how do they how do they get get across to you if they want to get more information or yes follow you? <clears throat> yeah, it's a very simple thing. Just type Abraham. This name you are seeing on the on my screen, Abraham Oruku. Just type it. That is the same name I use 
every in all my platforms. That's it. So I, so I dropping a phone number in my call, it might not be reachable. Saying yeah. my WhatsApp number, it might. So that's why I just say, um, once you just type Abraham Morukwe, you see my face now. There might be other Abraham Morukwe. I understand, but seeing this face already, this is my face. So we just we just connect. Send me a message. Why just say it's me from customer retention and I'm good to go. We are good to go. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweet teacher. Now, who are your mentors? Ah, that is. <laughs> I have uh, I have mentors for like let me feel to call one my number one mentor is a um, Bishop David Oyedepo. Okay. Not because I worship there, but I've seen him on. Um, I've seen him uh, be able to balance between spirituality and um, management. Um, I'm a business consultant, so I tend to anywhere I look to, I want to see what is making this thing work. So one, um, he is number one because I've seen things. Because I believe a mentor is one who has proven results. Yeah. And a mentor must not be one who you know one on one from their books, from their results. You can connect with them. And so, number one is him. Number two is um, John C. Maxwell. That's why we are both on his platform because you have achieved a lot in making to leadership and people development. Then. Um, two is Sam um, Bafemi. He is based in um, Abuja. Yeah. Two, then Elasha Mama. He's in Kate in Kaduna. So these persons within the inner circle are people that have watched closely, afar. They've been consistent in what they are doing. So what they say online is what they do offline. So it's not like it's a magic, magic thing. So wow. Wow. I can classify them as my mentors. Wow! Wow! Thank you so much. Wow, this has been another session of Leadership Talk with Adigoke. Um, my friend, Abra Morupe, a leadership uh, coach, is also a chaplain, is also um, a farmer, you know, he's, he's had his hands in the pie, you know, so many areas. We salute you, we celebrate my brother. On a final note, do you, you have, just much. have something to say in 30 seconds to our listeners all over? It's a new year. Be more of creating value than consumption. We're going to a new year. Think of value creation than consumption. Think of value creation than consumption. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the man. It's, it's added so much value on the 64th episode of Leadership Talk with Adi Goke. And uh, we've heard it. I think more of creating value than consumption. Thank you so much. So thank you very much. Everyone, you want to say bye bye to everyone? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Remain read to yourself and bye. Thanks for hosting me. Have a nice time. Bye. Thank you.